morning welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining me so we're going to go through the signs now because i've been requested to do that and i started with aquarius yesterday our prosperity candle that i relit yesterday or the day before has been burning consistently and the outside edge that was extremely thick is melting down and the candle is doing beautifully now so there's been a shift somewhere in our prosperity so good job with that all right let's see what's going on here who do you want to do a reading for today spirit which sign needs a reading the most spirit is indicating scorpio needs a reading right now so we're going to do a reading for the sign of scorpio all right, how do you want to begin? Begin with the book, Spirit says, and a prayer. So let's get you a prayer, Scorpio. Spirit, what prayer does the sign of Scorpio need? And I haven't done a reading for you in such a long time, Scorpio. So excited. Hey, good to hear from you again. Leave me a comment. Tell me how you've been doing. All right, Spirit, show me what Scorpio needs for prayer. Thank you, Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. So, for some reason, the Lord's Prayer is significant to your situation right now, Scorpio. All right, Spirit. What message do you have for Scorpio out of this here book? It's trying to open to a certain page. Should we go with that, Spirit, or do you want to? Let's just see what comes out. All right. What message do you have for Scorpio? What message do you have? All right. There will be an important message for you in your horoscope today, Scorpio. Spirit is indicating that there's an important message for you in your horoscope today. So make sure you check that out as well. All right. And let's see which virtues Spirit's working on in your life, Scorpio. Which virtues? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. We have responsibility. You have a lot going on. We have peace, patience, faith, and honesty. Wow, Scorpio, you got a lot going on, baby. We, ha we still haven't looked at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Wow, self-control and kindness. Kindness. Awesome. Scorpio, you are, you are doing something, baby. <laughs> You're going through something, aren't you, baby? Yes, you are. All right. So, peace, patience, faith, honesty, responsibility, kindness, and self-control are what virtues Spirit is working on in Scorpio's life. I am going to use, I've been instructed to use the White Witch for you, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shuffle at one time. The Wheel and the Sun. Spirit, talk to me for Scorpio. How are you working in Scorpio's situation? The Hermit in reverse. So, somebody's been doing some soul searching. And it looks like they have discovered something they would like to talk about or just do something about. This is a very strong earth vibe. It's Virgo. All right, what's not working? Judgment, Scorpio. Somehow your judgment is off. Okay, and how do we pull this together? There's some, or there's a situation that you're not judging that you need to judge. Temperance. Temperance is here. Being self-controlled. And we see that that's what's in the future for you, is to control yourself, to have patience, so to speak. And then we have the world. So there's a cycle in your life that's coming to a close. There's some, some situation that you've been going through that is about over. <clears throat> So, let's see. We have, I see a, a man with a beard here. He may have a bird. You might keep your hair behind your ear. Somebody has, their eyes, for some reason, are illuminated. Their eyes, something's going on with somebody's eyes. And you have a lot of people 
either watching you or you have you have a lot of people on your mind it looks like it looks like you have a lot of people on your mind you may be responsible somehow for a lot of people and decide making decisions for a lot of people and that's what's not working it's just judgment and then somebody maybe bites their fingernails please don't do that somebody has something going on with their ear one of your ears you may have a sinus infection or migraine or something going on in your head you may have some neurological stuff going on in your head somebody definitely has a bird and somehow eagles are significant and I see somebody loves birds like I think you genuinely just love birds okay and somebody's been carrying a lot of weight on their back I feel like you have a lot of responsibility for some reason and we see you have responsibility here you have a lot going on in your life Scorpio a lot you're being responsible for a lot. Like, you might have more than one job. <coughs> All right, let's get some of these cards right here for you. And just see how Spirit's working in various places in your life. All right, how are you working in Scorpio's home life right now, Spirit? Scorpio's home life, please. All right. I am at peace. And we have peace here, okay? Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. So in, at home, you are at peace, Scorpio. That's beautiful. All right, work life, or how are you working in Scorpio's life? That's a lot, huh? Work life, or how are you working in Scorpio's life? Can I get good, strong answers only, please? Thank you. I am flexible and flowing. And you would almost have to be, Scorpio. <laughs> you would almost have to be to organize everything that you're having to juggle right now. Like you have a lot of responsibility. I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. So you're in the flow. You're flexible and in the flow. That's how spirit's working in your life or in your work life. What surprises are you working on for Scorpio? Wow. I turn every experience into an opportunity. And it's only a thought and a thought can be changed. I am not limited by my past thinking. I choose my thoughts with care. I constantly have new insights and new ways of looking at my world. I am willing to change and grow. So your surprise is, is that it's only a thought and thoughts can be changed. So maybe you're having some negative thinking. And when I was standing at the back door meditating for your video, I heard something say to me, don't be a show off. Don't be a show off. You're just trying to show off. And I was like, devil, shut up and get away from me because I am not trying to show off. <laughs> they don't come to see me. They come to see spirit and you're just a liar. So get out of my head. But spirit says that you are going to realize that it's only a thought and a thought can be changed. So you might have like a reoccurring thought and spirit is surprising you that you can change this. And you're going to turn every experience into an opportunity. Each problem has a solution. All experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. So you might be trying to work out a situation right now that you're running into, you know, a lot of different, um, you have a lot of obstacles to overcome. You're going to turn experiences that you're having into opportunities. That would indicate obstacles. And also... There was a distraction as soon as I started your video. The phone rang, the house phone, and it was a telemarketer. So life might be also trying to distract you just a little bit. All right, love life for Scorpio spirit. How are you working in the love life of my Scorpio beautiful friends? There we go. I see my parents as tiny children who need love. Oh, and now go beyond other people's um, fears and limitations. So, uh, again, Scorpio, I get the sense that you might be single and you're dealing with parents and trying to work out some 
tensions or stresses that you have with your parents. I have compassion for my parents' childhoods. I now know that I chose them because they were perfect for what I had to learn. I forgive them and set them free, and I set myself free. So, your love life right now is about loving your parents, Scorpio. That's beautiful. And you're going to go beyond the opinions and fears and limitations of others. Wow. That's beautiful. Alright. And what might be the outcome? If you do have a love life, your love life might be fine, except for with it, when it comes to your parents. You might be struggling with your parents. And Spirit is indicating that if, even if your parents are not alive, it could just be that you're trying to deal with something from your past. The point of power is always the present moment. There's plenty for everyone, including me. These are cards from last night, the Aquarius. And I now create a wonderful new job. So you're working on creating a new job. You know that there's plenty for everyone, including you. Your finances might be struggling a little bit because it's not working. And the point of power is always in the present moment. The past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future. I am changing. I now take my own power back. I am safe and I am free. Alright, so you're learning that the power is in the present moment. That there ain't no future in the past. The future's not here yet. And we have only what we have right now. You're, you're learning to be present, to be mindful. That's beautiful. That's your outcome. Is that you're learning to be present. You're knowing that there's plenty for everyone. And you're creating a wonderful new job. Scorpio, this is absolutely amazing. And if you're already working, you might be working on creating something else because you want to move to a you want know, to like that next level type thing. So take it as it resonates always. And then my work is deeply fulfilling. Today I give my best to that which I do, knowing that when in one when one experience is complete, I am led to even more fulfilling and rewarding experiences. That, that's what I just said, right? That when one ends, there's always going to be something even better opening up for you. <clears throat> and we build on our experience. So you're at peace. You're having patience. You're having faith. You're being honest. You're having responsibility, kindness, and self-control. Like, <laughs> your spirit's working in you big time, Scorpio. All right, let's pull... What do we want to pull for Scorpio Spirit? How do you want to move from here? I want to see what's going on up here. But I also want to pull cards down here. Huh. Let's pull. You're at peace. Oh, let's just see what the Tarot says up here. Shall we, Spirit? Let's use these. All right. So, why is the Hermit here in reverse? Why is the Hermit in reverse for the sign of Scorpio? Because of a page of pentacles. A page of pentacles is about being scholarly, cheerful, dependable, sometimes a little mischievous. It's time to get to work. There, an excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotion, or scholarships in a new area of study. So maybe you're about to find out that you have this new job. You're working on getting a new job, it looks like. And the Hermit is in reverse because maybe you've finally decided what you would like to do. You've been soul searching about what you want to do, trying to figure out maybe where you want to work, where you want to go to school. You're thinking, you're doing a lot of thinking about what you want to do in your work life, it, it, on this earthly realm, what you want to do. You've got some thoughts going on about what you want to do. Why is judgment here? Scorpio, you're doing something new. It looks like you're working on, yeah, another page. Judgment is here because of Managing your resources wisely, having extremes in how you give or receive time or emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black or white, and being charitable. 
So in this case, judgment is maybe about being judgmental. We also have the Page of Wands. It's about judgment. What's not working is managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give or receive money or emotions. You need to make smart business decisions and see things. Sometimes you might see things in black and white. And sometimes life is happens in the gray. All right, then we have a page of pinnacle, I mean, page of wands. You're ex this could be you. Thinking about something you can do that will bring stability to your finances. There are things that you want in life. And I think that you have a very... Um, I think you, you want the finer things in life. And you're at this place where you're like, how can I make that happen? How can What, what can I do practical to make that happen? And you are excited, I think, somehow. I'm not sure what's going on here, Scorpio. This is about your judgment not working when it comes to your stability and your enthusiasm. Let's just keep going. And then we have the Ace of Wands here. So this thinking is leading you to do something. All right. Why is temperance here? Because of a Two of Swords and a Ten of Cups. It has to do with your happiness. For some reason, your happiness. And I think it has to do with your parents. You're not happy about something that's going on with your parents. Is what it looks like to me. You're, and it's affecting... Your stability is affected right now. You know what this looks like to me? This looks like somebody who's a student. You look like you're a young person. Or... You don't have to be. You could just be somebody who's rebuilding your life. But you're doing a lot of thinking. And life just doesn't seem like it's turned out the way you hoped. The Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Why is the world here, Spirit? Because it's the Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot in Reverse, and the Ace of Wands in Reverse. Because you're working on your independence so you can move somewhere. And you're real, real passionate about doing this. This is something you really want to do. Like, I think you want to get out on your own. You might be living with your parents. Or there's something you want to do. And you're trying to figure out how you can do it. You're trying to figure out how you can do it. And you're being patient in the meantime with how unhappy you are with the situation you're in right now. It's like, you may not be completely unhappy with it. You just might know that it's it's not dependable. Like, it's not something that's going to last forever. And your time, you're on a time limit here. Make sure you look at your horoscope. And there's an emperor. This could be a father, a grandfather. It could be a soul tie. It could be a strong connection. I don't know. I'm not really sure what's going on yet. I'm going to have to keep pulling cards until I can get to the answer. Let's pull these for you, Scorpio. Let's find out a little bit more about how spirit's working in your life. All right. Protection and animals. You, know, you have animals that you want to have protection for. Maybe you want to protect animals. And you're thinking about how you can make money doing that. Protection and inspiration. Got protection for sure. Let's see what's going on in your life. Family and protection. Spirit's been saying your family is protected. All right, Spirit, how are you working in Scorpio's home life? Can I get some details about what's going on here? Closure and protection came out. Closure and protection. You're at peace in your home life. Spirit says you're going to have closure about something and you're protected. Wow, I did not see that coming. Something's going to come to an end in your home life, but you're protected. All right, how are you working in Scorpio's work life? <laughs> you are talented, Scorpio. You're flexible, flowing, and talented. 
All right, what surprises do you have for Scorpio? Wow, that came out with a course. Reconciliation and family. Yeah, you're going to have a reconciliation in your family. Huh, interesting. All right. What about Scorpio's love life? This is about your parents, remember? Forgiveness. Y'all, I cannot make this up. There's something in your family that you need to forgive. You're at odds with somebody in your family. All right, and the outcome here. These are coming out with fours. It's going to be your happiness. Your, your Ten of Cups is in reverse, and you're being patient about that. Or controlled. Like, Spirit is saying, I'm dealing with you in your brain, in your mind, in your spirit, because I want you to forgive your parents. You have so much anger towards your parents. And your home is protected, and you're going to get closure for whatever has happened between you and these parents. You're talented. You're talented, and you're flexible and flowing. You're going to have a reconciliation in your family. That's your surprise. There's going to be forgiveness, and the outcome will be happiness. And you have these psychic abilities, Scorpio. Beautiful reading. Spirit wants you to forgive somebody in your family. Spirit, can you show me who Scorpio needs to forgive? Can you give her a clue, him a clue of who they need to forgive? There's somebody in your family Spirit wants you to forgive. There was a queen of King, King or Queen of Cups that tried to come out. Good strong answers only, please, Holy Spirit, about who needs to be forgiven. Scorpio's person that needs to be forgiven. An Ace of Cups came out. Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups. This could be a child. You might need to forgive a child. You could be the parent here. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Or this could be you. Why is the Ace of Cups here? I'm not taking anything. The Nine of, the nine of Swords is determined to come out, y'all. Show me who needs to be forgiven. Give me good, strong answers only. Alright, well there was definitely some fighting. There was fighting. There could be somebody new in your family. Alright, show me more about this situation with school. Wow, that came out with force. Look, the high priestess came out in reverse. There was some fighting. Could have been with you and a child. Or you and a parent. Parent-child here. Alright. Why is the high priestess in reverse? Because of a ten of swords. You got mad and closed this up. Like, you were like, this is the end of this. I'm done. I am done. Could have something to do with an addiction. I am done with this situation. This person has screwed me over. Oh, they're going to screw me over. All right, advice for Scorpio, please. Advice for the sign of Scorpio. You need to work this out. The Eight of Pentacles came out. What do you mean by that? Yeah, the Three of Pentacles came out. You, you need to work this out between y'all. It could be three of you. Parent, child, I think, definitely. There's a king of swords in reverse. You could be pissed off at your father. Or you could be mad at your daughter. Can you give me any more details about this? Look, the queen of, the queen of pentacles came out. This could be a lot of people. This is your mother. You're mad at your mother. This is between a mother and a daughter, it looks like. The color red is standing out. Dolphins are significant. Mermaids are significant. You might love plants. Yeah. Any advice for Scorpio about how to do this? What do they need to do to get through this? Why are they mad at their parent spirit? The Knight of Cups came out. What about the Knight of Cups? Wow. The King of Wands, the Ego, the Four of Cups, and the Empress. <coughs> this could be a few of y'all. 
There's, there's a king of wands here and an empress. This could be, there's also a queen of pentacles here. This could be your grandmother. Your grandmother could also be involved in this. Your grandmother might not love your father because of a lot of ego. That's what it looks like is happening here. And you do love your father or your mother. It looks like a grandparent is coming between their children and parents. That's what it looks like. This empress will not take love because they have a lot of ego. Oh, wow. I've never seen anything like this. But why is this grandmother so uh, against this this situation? Show me her feelings here. What is what is going on with this grandmother? Wow, those came out with force. Wow. This grandmother partners up with other people and makes plans so that they don't have any decision. If they want their money to come through. If this grandmother is manipulative as hell. She's in the upright though. But her motives are in reverse. She's controlling. She controls the money. By partnering up with other people. And ganging up on other family members. That's what I see here. What would you like this queen of pentacles to do? It looks like the grandparents are making the children like it, they're putting the children in the middle. Huh. This person right here, this Queen of Pentacles, this mother is stressed the fuck out. And can't even sleep at night because of this shit. Unbelievable. Anything else you want to say, Spirit? Y'all might need to get some therapy. Wow. Spirit says the end of these challenging times. It needs to come to an end. Because there's no hope with all this fighting. You, This fighting is causing you not to have any hope. might have to move and I think that's what you're thinking over here is I, I just want out of this I'm tired of being caught in the middle it's bullshit and it is it is Scorpio it is all right how else you, what what advice let's look at let's just see what comes out of here for you Scorpio what would you say out of here hmm you're hot, smart, and you have a great ass. Your person is lucky to remind them. Hmm. So maybe you're in a relationship. Why is that there? I'm not sure what to make of this. Get hot and sweaty. So this is about you. <laughs> about you knowing you're beautiful and working out. So I guess you work out. Spirit says, go solo, agree to fucking disagree, fuck your job, just walk away and forgive. Huh. You know what I think this is saying? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I think this is saying. Like, somebody makes a lot of money here, and they use their money for control. And this is saying, go solo, agree to disagree. Fuck your money. Just walk away and forgive. And just, I think Spirit just wants to remind you that you're hot and you're smart and you have a great ass. Just to know that you're beautiful and that you work out, I guess, just to let you know who you are. Or that you need to work out. I don't know. And then this one says, listen. You still don't fucking get it. Somebody doesn't listen. I, I hope somebody is getting this. Because these cards don't really go for this kind of reading. But I'm trying to use them that way. Alright, messages out of here about this. Messages out of here. Because I don't see anything twin flamish. 
there's some regrets. Somebody feels sorry for the way they treated you. Alright, what else? Somebody needs to make a decision about how they're going to support other people. Because right now they're unavailable. And I think that this person is emotionally unavailable. There's a warning here. What about? What warning? What warning, Spirit? Talk to us about the warning. You're protected. Your intuition is here. You can trust. That This will make sense to somebody. I promise you. Alright, Spirit. Talk to me about the finances that are going on here. What would you say about the finances here? Somebody might be a teacher in your life. Alright. Oh, something's unrealistic. And somebody needs to grow up. Somebody's being unrealistic about growing up. Uh, and I think it's about these children you're putting in the middle. There's something better. You need to have other options. All right, what else? The past. It has to do with the past. Okay, what else? Wow, that came out with force. Look what it is. A windfall. It says, there is something better. You have options about the past and this windfall. Wow. <laughs> what do you mean, options? Somebody's health is unstable, and this is destiny. Alright, what else? counselor and an entertainer showing up here. And I'm going to tell you right now that I'm a counselor and an entertainer, so it's not impossible that you are too. <laughs> Alright, what else? Spirit? Somebody is manifesting they're an artist and they're managing their money so they can go to the next level in their spirituality. Boom, yeah! Alright! <laughs> What else do you want to give Scorpio Spirit? Show us how they're going to go to the next level in their spirituality. How is Scorpio, whoa. <laughs> how is Scorpio going to go to the next level in their spirituality? Interesting reading, Scorpio. <laughs> Interesting reading. Somebody's putting kids in, in the middle. And it's like grandparents, parents, it could be grandfather, grandmother, aunt, uncle. Can I get good, strong answers about the next level for Scorpio? Oh, wow. Please, may I have good, strong answers for Scorpio? There we go. Scorpio. I don't know how these are supposed to go, so give me a minute. Okay, I have double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. Call in your soul tribe, you don't have to do it alone. And release soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So this stuff may have been going on in your family for a long time. And it's time to release it. Go into your heart and release this. You're on a double mission. You're here to channel and uplift humanity. Alright. What might be the outcome here? You are not alone. Your ancestors stand beside you. Just say yes. Just say yes. And trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? It's all coming together, your soul tribe. Your soul tribe is coming together, Scorpio. You are going to have a lot of support because that is, in fact, your destiny. All right, angels, how are you helping, Scorpio? I'm hearing the name Shauna. Um, Deandra, Faith, Alexa. Well, how are you helping? 
May I get good, strong answers, please? It's like I'm having trouble getting answers. Peace. We know we have peace in your home. It'd be hard to have peace in your home with this going on. Forgiveness. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody's going to finally surrender here. It's, it, there's a lot of stubborn energy here. Somebody's going to have freedom. Vibration and protection. With nature on the bottom of the deck. Alright, what needs to be surrendered, Spirit? Because I feel like there's a lot of stubborn people in this situation. Hard-ass people. And I think that these grandparents talk shit. Look, y'all can't make this shit up. <laughs> Stubbornness. There's, some, there's a lot of stubborn people here. And this person that's controlling, they can be a very loving, kind, nurturing person. But they're very manipulative. <laughs> what else needs to be surrendered? The beauty of the natural world. So somebody needs to get outside and go into nature. Spirit, show me what the children here need to surrender. Besides the stubbornness. <laughs> they are the ones who need to learn to trust. They don't know who to trust. Because everybody is manipulating. Alright, what about the parents here? Whoa. They need to allow people to support and love them. I would think that it would be hard to let this person support and love you when they talk about you behind your back. What does the grandparents need to surrender here or the aunts and uncles or whoever these uh, older people are? They need to get into their full power and let spirit amaze them. And stop doing anything like non-action. Stop trying to fix this. Uh, anything else? There needs to be complete healing in this family. And then you can have creativity. Because I think you're very gifted people. But you just you have a lot of um, resentments and hatred in your heart towards one another right now because of everything that's happened. Alright, what would you say out of here? <clears throat> Who can I serve today and am I willing? <laughs> Are you even willing? Like, if you're not willing to have this fixed, it'll stay broken. And how can I deepen my trust right now? So maybe you're one of the children in this situation watching. I don't know. All right. What healing needs to happen here, Spirit? Pride tried to come out. Somebody might have a lot of pride. Spirit said, there just needs to be healing. <laughs> Spirit said, I didn't get enough surrender cards. And somebody needs to pay attention to the signs. Because there are signs that you're seeing. But you're not paying attention to them, I guess. Alright, what other things need to be surrendered? Somebody needs to surrender to their success. Stop controlling people and surrender their fucking ego. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. And they might have some denial. Anything else, Spirit? I know them resentments have got to go. <laughs> Anything else? There's a lot of frustration here. A lot of frustration. Surrender to the magic of who you are. Surrender to how things are, just what is. Surrender your attachment to results and surrender to effortlessness. And surrender negative thinking. I'm hearing go one more time. A lot of stuff needs to be surrendered here. <laughs> Family drama. Family, family, family drama. Somebody has some addictions. And they have a, a fear of change. You need to get on your soul's path and stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop procrastinating. Get rid of unhealthy relationships and surrender to your creativity so you can have inner peace. Alright, now, Spirit says that's it. Alright, let's get initials so you can see who you're talking to in this situation. Alright, Spirit, who are you talking to here? Can you show me? C T G L V S F, as in Frank. Q G A. Z T L 
in. All right, and don't forget that it could be anybody. Like, this doesn't have to be grandparents, parents, and children. It could be aunts, grandparents, and children. I mean, it could be anybody. Reverse any roles you need to. I, P, C, A, K, H, D. N, K, Z, E, E, N, P, L, J, D, A, I, M, N, okay, one more time, S, L, C A R C V. So we have C A C V R L S. One more time, here it says T M O F F U M. So we have M O M, Mom. <laughs> One more time, Stuart says. B I H F N W D. Take it as it resonates. All right, may I have trinkets, please, for the screen? All right, we have a huge butterfly that says miracles happen. We have the word love. We have the word love again. A huge elephant. My love is alive. Crescent moon with a heart. Live in the moment. Remember learning to live in the moment? Oh, wow, spirit. I have a feather or a wing. I have a skeleton. Somebody has been a ballerina at some point. You probably like to walk on your tippy toes. <laughs> The word beautiful, a family tree, an elephant, a peace sign in Aramaic, a starfish, a huge flower, a crown coin, you might drink crown oil, I will, a piece of quartz crystal, a horseshoe with a ladybug, those children on the broken bridge, those children are protected by an angel. Weakness is a choice. And somebody is allowing this to destroy their family. I have a gasket. Somebody might be a mechanic. Perhaps love. A pumpkin. Maybe something happened here at Thanksgiving or, or Halloween. A whale tail. A cat. I have another cat. And then I have Hello Kitty. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Maybe you're a Leo. And then I have another horseshoe with a four-leaf clover. I have You Are My Sunshine. I have a marijuana or maple leaf. Archangel Michael. I have a mouse or rat. I have a skeleton key. An Eiffel Tower. An Eiffel Tower. I have Jesus. I have a shell, maybe your name is Shell. I have a crown. I have a family tree. I have a bird. Remember I said somebody loved birds? I have the word love. I have a pendulum and I have a crown, another crown. And look, this could also be um, like grandparents with grown children and then they have children that are babies and they don't want the grandparent to see the children. Because, you know, reverse the roles like that. They might not want the grandparent to see the children because they feel like the grandparent's not living the kind of life that they expect them to live. There's somebody being very judgmental and manipulative here, okay? Take it as it resonates. All right, let's see what's going on here with these trinkets. What trinkets did you see me out of this bowl? And it looked like there was at least a little girl and maybe a pregnancy involved with that Ace of Cups. 
Alright, I have three. Every key in the bowl came out. It might be time for somebody to move into their own home. Okay? It might be time for you to get your own house. And that's what this is about over here. You're ready, too. I have a red marble. I have three marbles. This one looks like a cat's eye. And that one looks like it's been in somebody's pocket forever. <laughs> You might be finding marbles in the washing machine because your grandson. I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. I love you to the moon and back. This might be stuff that you say to your children. I have the world here for this cycle closing. This is a cycle that's been open way too long. I have a metal head gear. You might like heavy metal. I have a skeleton hand. Somebody in heaven is going to give you a hand with this. A marijuana or a maple leaf. And every fair from fair sometimes declines William Shakespeare. Live your dream. Live your dream. Live your dream. Holy shit, y'all. Live your dream. Oh, my God. <laughs> Spirit is saying it's time to live your dream. I have an angel, a dollar sign or a cash symbol, an elephant with a heart on its trunk, a compass, a ball for a baby, or you might play basketball, a heart with a flower, an infinity sign, and a dragon. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, Scorpio, I know this was a very different reading, but Spirit indicated right out of the gate that this was not about your love life, not that you don't have one, but that your family needed some attention today, that there needs to be some forgiveness in your family relationships and you will have peace in your home because that's how spirit is working in your life if this helped you in any way can you please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and comment on it and let me know who wants to have a reading next and i'll go in order by that list i didn't get any responses last night on aquarius's video so if you watch this to the end god bless you thank you for your support and i'll be back in a little while with another reading Bye bye